All right, today's lesson is going to be on a, a little fretboard uh, sweet spot for some of the blues stuff that we've been working on. Um, this is going to be a largely major pentatonic sound. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to kind of mix and match the a lot of the different sounds to give what we want. Um, the pattern that we're playing, uh, I'll run it through real quick for you. It's just going to be on these first three strings. You got the ninth and eleventh frets on the third string. 10, 12, and 13 on the second string, and then 10, 11, 12 on the first string. Now what we're going to be doing with this, uh, we're not just playing those notes, it's not going to be like... You know, it's not going to sound very bluesy like that. We're going to be playing some, some licks. Yeah, and, and giving you some vocabulary to use. I'll give you a little, little demo here with the backing track. Let's do a, a few bars. exciting soul but you kind of get an idea of the vibe that we're, we're going for with this all right so the first lick on that we're going to deal with um, a lot of these have pickup phrases which means that you're playing before the first full bar of, of the music all right so we're going to count one two three and all right so it's 11 10 11 for the pickup phrase and then you're bending the 12th fret, and it's bending up a whole step up to the 14th fret right there, which is not one of the notes in our little scale pattern. But this works really nicely if we're playing in the key of an A blues. That note is in the A blues, that's the third of the A chord. That's the note that makes it major or minor. Now, the next lick, okay, so the, the whole thing you got um, um, 11, 10, 11, whole step bend, and then on the first string, 10, 12, and then you're doing that whole step bend again, 12th fret on the second string, and then coming back to the 10th fret. Uh, a lot of these, you know, these might not be the most exciting licks ever, but what I'm trying to do is break up the normal patterns when somebody gets a scale where you tend to, you know, you're just doing that kind of stuff up and down it. All right, so then lick number two, uh, one, two, three. We got our pickup notes again, and three, um, I'm sorry, and four triplet, right? So we're going 11 on the on the third string, and then 10, 12, 10 on the third, and then we have a step and a half bend. We're taking the 12th fret, we're bending up to the G note, which is on the, um, uh, what do you call it, on the first string. And then we're doing the uh, 12, 11, 10, which is the, um, uh, the blue scale portion is up. And then 13 and 10 back to the root on the uh, on the second string. Alright, now notice when I do that bend, you're getting... You know, all those really big bends happen back here, not with the fingers. Alright, so lick number three. Uh, this song actually is going to start on the downbeat. Oh. So what you're doing there is you've got your, your whole step bend again. This is real good over the one chord, the A chord. 12th fret up a whole step and then 10, 12 on the um, first string and then 13 on the second, 11 on the third, and then uh, 10 on the second. Um, yeah. So once again, just breaking up patterns there. Right. Now the next one, this one's gonna be pretty simple. I always, I always like this one because if you're playing um, like a minor pentatonic scale in this position, you don't have 
that whole step bend that we we do but if you're playing major pentatonic you don't have this note the fourth and we end up using that that note quite a bit that note on the uh, tenth fret first string so you're doing your whole step bend on the um, the twelfth fret second string and then the tenth fret on the first string and then your whole step bend again and then back to the root you, you phrase that a whole bunch of different ways but or even and then 10, 12, and then back to the 10. There's a lot, a lot of places you can, you can go with that. All right. Um, then the next phrase we have here, um, you know, kind of a little bit in reverse of where we've been starting. Uh, you know, I, I hear BB King do this occasionally. You've got the the twelfth fret on the first string, which is the the fifth of the chord. Uh, and you're going 12, 10, 10 on the second string, which is the root, that's the A. And then you've got the 11th fret on the uh, third string. And then you got your whole step bend on the uh, on the second string. Yeah, uh, it's a little bit different phrase. And then the last one here, number six on your on your page. Um, this one works kind of good for the end of a. a, a a phrase or at the end of a 12 bar because what's happening is we're ending down here and this note is it's the fifth note of the scale it's, it's a fifth up from the A uh, which also is the chord that you do your turnaround on in the blues the last four bars you know that's saying hey we're going back to the top you know we're, we're ending a phrase all right so we've got 11 10 11 um, here on the uh, third, second, third strings, and then I'm getting that thirteenth fret on the second string, and then eleven, and then nine, ending on the on the on the fifth right there. There's a bunch of different ways you could phrase it. Um, this isn't kind of the end all be all of, of soloing in this position, but what I want to do is give you just a little. Uh, grip of, of notes and phrases that you could kind of use to, to get started understanding how to make this work. And like I said, this is this is really a um, uh, kind of a BB King esque <laughs> kind of place to play. You know, I, I like it a lot. I use it a bunch. Um, the next one we'll probably be doing more of more of the minor sound. You know, which um, is going to sound more Albert Kingy.